I'm going to give this over to Joel and he'll tell you all about this amazing badge and the things that go with it. Thanks, Fred. Um, I think you need to unmute me. I am? You can hear me? Hi. Wow, that's great. Hi, everyone. I'm Joel Murphy, and I got roped into making the badge for the Biohacking Village this year. Um, and uh, it has been really fun so far. I've been learning a lot. Um, and the badge is an actual microfluidics platform that's made by a fellow named Urs Gaudens, who's a, a Swiss fellow. Um, and I basically just copied it, because he did all the heavy lifting and all the work to make it actually work. And so um, it was really easy, um, except for all the parts that went end of life during the time, during the summer that I had to scrounge around. And apparently there was some kind of a global shortage of capacitors this summer. Is anyone ever affected by that? A few people? Crazy. Um, <clears throat> so I want to talk about the badge, but I want to talk about myself too. I'm going to shamelessly promote myself. Uh, so you may know me or have heard of me because I make OpenBCI. OpenBCI is an open source EEG device. Uh, you can measure EEG, EMG, and ECG, all the Gs, with uh, OpenBCI. We're a low cost, high quality uh, EEG uh, uh, system. Our eight channel system runs for about $500. And a 16-channel system is about $900. We also sell a uh, 3D printed electrode headset with dry electrodes um, uh, for actually deploying on your head. Um, we're wireless, uh, you know, all ready for ambulatory uh, experiments and this kind of stuff. We're really popular among um, PhDs and grad students because we're affordable. People can run their own. Hi. People can run their own um, experiments if they want to. Um, here's a simple example of the software that we use for measuring brain waves. Um, this is a simple visualizing software. It allows you to see the signals and it also does recording of the data as well. Um, OpenVCI was started in 2013. Well, it was started in 2014, but prior to that, I was on a government grant funded by DARPA under the Obama Brain Initiative. That's what kick-started and launched the whole thing after the work I did for that, took it to create OpenBCI, the company. Um, another thing that I do is pulse sensor. Pulse sensor is an optical heart rate monitor for Arduino. It plugs right into Arduino and the analog input, and it's designed to hold against your fingertip. That's actually being incorrect. You're supposed to be your finger on the front of the sensor. Um, and you see a nice, clean heartbeat waveform. We've got a bunch of... Uh, uh, code examples there you see on the left. Make a servo move to your heartbeat. Make a speaker beep to your heartbeat. We've got heart rate variability software as well so that you can do HRV uh, um, uh, experiments uh, and also breathing uh, uh, feedback, biofeedback experiments as well. Um, that's been going on since 2012. More recently, this is the project called Timpin. Timpin is an open source master hearing aid. This is the device that audiologists and uh, engineers use to create their algorithms for helping hearing imp impaired people. Um, this is work that I'm doing with a team under a five-year grant from NIH and NIDCD, National Institute of Deafness and Communication Disorders. Um, and uh, we're a year and a half into our five-year grant. We're creating new hardware every year. Uh, building on our previous work, trying to make things better, faster, smaller. Uh, hopefully, at the end of our run with this grant, we'll be able to provide a uh, behind-the-ear wearable device that is also open source, ha hackable, and um, uh, useful for research and development of, of hearing aid algorithms. Um, and then OpenHack is a project that I'm working on with Leaf, who's here in the audience. And this is an open source Fitbit, because we're kind of sick of Fitbits being so closed and you don't get your data. So we're working on this project. It's, uh, again, open source hardware, open source software. We hope to crowdfund it uh, this fall. And I'm wearing one, if you want to check it out. Um, Bluetooth, uh, heart rate, uh, and uh, steps, step counting. That's, that's it, right? Basically. But then you can, use to, you can hack it to do anything you want with it. Um, so OpenDrop V3, this is the uh, Gaudi Labs uh, microfluidics platform. He's got a web store. He sells these and accessories 
uh, you can buy directly from him. Um, and uh, uh, essentially what we're doing in order to drive the droplets around on the surface of this, uh, of this platform is we're using a high voltage, so we're up to 300 volts, DC or AC. Um, uh, from what he says, DC is good enough for what we're gonna try to do this afternoon. Um, by the way, this afternoon at five, from five to seven, I'm leading a workshop on the badge, assembling it, putting it all together, showing how to, to create the hydrophobic surface that we need to do and all that kind of stuff. Um, so let's just get right down to it and look at some videos. Uh, I have some audio that I need to unmute. I think I did that okay. All right, I got the signal. Uh, this is a fun uh, uh, open dropper video that Ur has made. Um. So um, uh, one of the things that you're seeing there, he's, he's able to program the, um, the platform. Sorry, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm to mute it. Uh, you're able to program droplet movement. Um, and uh, he's connected to a computer uh, to, to do that. And so he's created the droplets moving in a big circle. And then he's also able to control the position of <clears throat> one of the droplets with a joystick that's on the board. So it's pretty versatile, pretty crazy stuff. Also, he has feedback. Uh, so he's able to tell where the droplet is on the, on the board as well. So that's how he was able to get the, I mean, he didn't, he didn't cover the audio. The other thing you need to know about the, the open drop platform is it's a synth. This guy Urs is really into um, synthesizers and theremins and shit like that. So um, it actually plays the music of the Frogger game. And because he's able to get feedback on the droplet's position, he knows if he gets across the, the board or if he collides with one of the other things. Because he knows where the blue droplets are and he knows where the green droplet is. So yeah, pretty tight, pretty tight shit. OK, so the next video is a reservoir test. Now, in that previous video, we were going topless, all right? The droplets were just sitting on the surface with nothing else going on. In this case, what he's got, I'm gonna drag this cable over here, is um, you can see it here. This is a, uh, what is it, TFT glass or glass that's coated with some sort of a conductive film on one side of it, right? Um, and you can see the wire here, he's grounding that. He's grounding that. Uh, one of the things that you need to do is uh, remove any static charge from your droplet in order for it to work. Um, so in this case, he's using what looks like Kapton tape or something like that to separate the top glass from the hydrophobic surface. So he's got a droplet that's in between there. Okay. So this is a, an example of his reservoir test. Now the reservoirs are the large pads on the right and left uh, of the uh, electrode array. And that's where you store your fluid. And you'll, you'll get it as soon as I press the button. I have to unmute, excuse me. Thanks for your patience. What's this? Wait a minute. Oh, here we go, sorry. So he's, he presses the button, and that drags the droplet out of the reservoir. And then he's using the joystick to move it around on the surface.
uh, this video has some, um, I think it's got some audio, audio in it. He's telling you the story about how this software works. Pretty cool stuff. Um, he doesn't have any video examples of any actual science that he's doing with this thing. Um, and he's claiming that it's still sort of uh, in the sort of prototyping phase. It's, 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 he's on version three right now. He's pretty much done, I would say. Um, uh, but anyway, that's, that's, I think that's all I have. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>